In this video, I'm going to give you some tips what to do if your twin flame is unaware. And I'm making this video because this is a very, very, very common question I come across. Hi, my name is Rita Simon and you are watching the series Awaken, where I take mystical concepts and my mystical experiences and translate them with science. So the answer is going to be very, very, very simple, but extremely difficult to execute. And I'm saying it from my own experience, because if you are the chaser, so if you are the runner, it's going to be a lot easier. But if you are the chaser, that is a huge trap and very difficult for you because your whole mind and soul and your whole being uh, is hyper focused on the twin flame runner and what you have to understand is that uh, your twin flame your real twin flame is inside you and the person is only a representation of that outside but that can be multiple people and i know lots of channels say that there is this one person you have to find the da, 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 all of this bullshit if you listen to that, you are going to get stuck in abusive relationships. Your twin flame is within you. That's like a cut into two. But in reality, it's the cut in a way that whatever you are now and the twin flame that is outside of you, it's an underdeveloped part. And it's generally not one single thing. It's lots of lots of things that your twin flame triggers up that's why it's abusive so basically you relive your childhood wound and now you have a chance to recover it so this is your twin flame this outside person just triggers it so if you and this is your answer to this if you focus on thinking so if you are a chaser, you have to connect to your head more. And if you are the runner, you actually have to connect to your emotions more because you are more disconnected from your emotions and more connected to the head. That you really focus on what comes up and understand it. See it from different perspectives by using psychology. The four attachment types the four parenting types and the five core wounds understand yourself and understand others and that can actually help you heal and i'm saying it from my own experiences because i had a kundalini awakening i'm going to leave a link below where i explain this and when you have a kundalini awakening you calm down because these different parts that are all over uh, you, they are going to connect and integrate. And it's going to bring you into a holistic, calm pace. So what you can do is use your brain to understand the situation, understand yourself and see it from a different perspective than what you already have what you have already created as a child you have to see it from different ways so this underdeveloped part can come up and it doesn't have to come fully up just at least move a little bit because as soon as you move your frequency is going to be different and you are going to be able to attract a completely different twin flame who is outside of you because the twin flame you have inside is going to be a lot healed. So the person you are going to attract is going to be more healed, more aware as well. Because when you are more integrated and more aware, the more likely that you are going to attract a twin flame who matches that more aware, more healed version of you. Because the problem is that you see yourself that I am aware, I am good, my twin flame is unaware, he or she is stupid or not good or whatever. The problem is that, yes, one version of you that is up, that is your other version, is aware, 
but your repressed part, your underdeveloped part is unaware. So in combination of the two, you are not aware because if you were, you would understand the situation and you could use it extremely well for your self-transformation and this underdeveloped part would come up very, very, very fast and you would be in the middle in a um, secure attachment type and you would say goodbye to the person who is abusing you. So in conclusion, focus on yourself, work on yourself, understand yourself, understand others, understand the situation, see things differently, and reality is going to give you an other twin flame because reality is trying to integrate as well. You have to understand your own power over reality. So reality represents uh, the collective, the collective unconscious or wholeness, and you represent the individual, but you too depend on each other equally. So if you say no to a person, reality is forced to give you another one because just as you try to integrate, reality tries to integrate as well because you two are exactly the same in reality because all individuals are the collective and you have just as much power over a reality if you understand it then reality over you because you two co-depend on each other. Meaning that if you move away from your twin flame, reality is forced to give you a different one. So know your worth and know the basic rules of your own reality. See you in my next video.